Sisi maofisa ambao wako kwa National Police Service we assure you of our loyalty. At any time yale amuli unatoa sisi ni kuti kuhakikisha inchi yetu inalindwa bila uoga na kutishwa na yeyote. Tutalinda wananchi wetu watukufu na tutalinda mali yetu. Kulingana na video utatueleza tufanye kazi. Your Excellency, today I feel greatly honored to host you on this auspicious occasion of the official opening of the National Police Leadership Academy here in Gong. One of the key objects and functions of National Police Service as stipulated under Article 244 of the Constitution is to strive for the highest standards of professionalism and discipline among its members. The second object is to train the staff to the highest possible standards of competence and integrity respect um, for human rights and a, and a fundamental freedoms and dignity. In this regard, we have been collaborating with universities, both locally and abroad, in offering higher education to our officers on areas of strategic leadership and management. For example, our former National Police Service Senior Staff College, which, which, which was at Rolesho, um, used to collaborate with the Kenyatta University and the UK-based College of Policing in offering diploma and master programs in the leadership and management to senior police officers. However, the demand for knowledge and relevant skills suitable for modern policing, policing calls for more education and training opportunities than are currently available. With the establishment of this uh, academy, and more so in the interest of national security, we now have the capacity to create the much needed conducive learning environment where we can combine training, um, police training with academics. Your Excellency, sir, the establishment of this college, therefore, will contribute greatly to our efforts to harmonize the training within the service by bringing Kenya Police Service, Administration Police Service, and DCI officers to train together. The 21st century crimes have become complex with the technology, technological advancement and globalization. And therefore, pursuing advanced, job-specific, but harmonized education-oriented towards transformation of the police management. And this will have an impact on police professionalism and the police community relations. For us in the Ministry of Interior, and national administration, we believe that the future of policing is going to be knowledge driven. For us as a country to contain, minimize, and eventually eradicate crime, we will need knowledge to go about the operations that we put in place. And that knowledge will be acquired through our own training institutions and curricula designed to meet our needs as a country and the security challenges that we continue to face as a nation, which are unique and are not identical to those of other countries. Number two, through this facility, as the Inspector General of Police has said, it is expected 
that we will build convergences between the operational practices of the National Police Service, the Directorate of Criminal Investigations, and also the Administrative Police uh, Service to ensure we build the right synergies so that we can collectively address the security challenges that our country is facing. Finally, Your Excellency, you have directed us as a ministry to ensure that going forward, we enhance professionalism within the National Police Service and make sure that we run our internal security operations, our, security, our policing operations on the basis of professionalism, building good relationships with the communities that we serve as well captured in the Kenya Kwanzaa Administration Manifesto. Your Excellency, sir, this facility, therefore, is going to help us meet that directive you've given us to make sure that we progressively professionalize our police service and make sure that those who take over leadership and command positions within the National Police Service are people who have the right intellectual software to manage the complex security challenges that evolve every day as society continues to evolve. In that regard, it is hoped, and it is my hope as minister, that through the task force that you are setting up, the presidential, set, uh, the tra the presidential task force on terms, conditions, and other reforms within the National Police Service and the Kenya Prison Service, some of the ideas which will be taught and passed on in this institution will be generated so that we have now proud, we can now proudly say we have the hardware to professionalize the police. What we are lacking is the software in terms of a good curriculum, a modern curriculum that infuses new ideas and new ways of policing as we continue to make sure that our country is secure. The approach that uh, we are taking um, by employing the resources that the government has, especially the human resources from uh, NGA, will be of great use or help to our minister. And I, on behalf of the minister, want to thank you for really coming to our hand. And I think uh, this is the right step towards uh, us making sure that we, are, we have the right, correct, dependable farmers data that uh, we will use in future. The National Government Administration, the Gao family, has the necessary capacity and expertise to collect for us this data. So our regional commissioners and county commissioners, this is your first assignment from the President of the Republic of Kenya, who came to office three months ago. I would like to urge you to take this exercise very seriously, deploy your assistant chiefs and the chiefs, supervise them, and within a short time, let us have the correct database. Let us project the right image for government that we are there to serve the people, not to suppress them. We are there to assist the government to do positive things. And it is possible. Uh, Your Excellency, we are very happy for providing us with this opportunity to be of help to the country and to your administration by assisting in putting together a national farmers register. Your Excellency, mine is just to assure you that in this ministry, we will abide by the directive you have given that you require all public servants, including Ngao officers, to comply with the law which requires us to be professional, neutral, impartial, and serve all Kenyans without 
any discrimination on the basis of any division whatsoever. We should refrain ourselves from politicizing the public service or getting engaged in activities that go against the law of public service. In particular, we have requested all our officers to read the Public Officer Ethics Act, sections 14, 15, 16, 17, which calls on our impartiality and service to the people of Kenya, impartially, professionally, and without affiliation to any section of our country's fabric.